Okay, so today we're going to learn about how to basically calculate breadth search for uh, adjacency matrix. And in this case, we are calculating uh, the distance from root a node to a root, right? And or root to a node. And that nodes, as we already know about uh, adjacency matrix, uh, in this case, uh, these are the rows are nodes and columns are nodes as well. So their only relationship is one and zero. And so we're going to calculate uh, from root to the each node. Okay, so let's look at the concept on the PowerPoint right here. So as we mentioned already, these are the requirement and we're going to calculate them. So uh, we want the answer something like this and this is the solutions, uh, the answers. And we started from here, and we're gonna basically start by pushing uh, the root onto Q. And first and first, always the most uh, very useful for this uh, solutions. So we will start pushing it and start looking up at the, this row. Uh, this is this is basically uh, the root, and then we will try to see if the relationship from the root to uh, each node. In this case, the root is zero, and uh, the relationship between node two and the root is one. Okay, uh, let's implement that first in JavaScript, and we will see the pattern, and so it will be easier for us to understand. Okay, so first thing first, they already given us this a little bit of code here. So we just what we just have to do is basically follow our uh, executions plan plan how we plan right okay so the plan is basically we have to calculate um, the answer uh, something like this sorry something like this uh, so basically we need an object right so the object is notes land and we have to uh, basically initialize that notes first with infinity so for and we're and edge let's just call it edge that's what we are basically initializing it so edge and uh, the length will be graph.length and um, so edge plus plus edge. okay so notes len and edge so it will be equal to infinity. All right. So now that we initialize it on oh, nooks, that will be s. So okay. So now that we got uh, zero, one, two, three with infinity, that's good. Looks looking good. Look, looking good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to uh, initialize our uh, root, which is uh, node len and that will be the root right here and equivalent to zero the reason is basically zero distance uh, compared to the root itself right so and then we're going to need uh, basically q and that's what we are going to using what we're going to use um, in this q we're going to basically initialize it with the root itself and that's our variables. So we're going to use while, and then this while is supposed to be uh, under uh, the length of a Q, right? Length, and it's supposed to be greater than zero. And as long as greater than zero, we are calculating uh, a length for um, each node from the distance between uh, node and root. So, and then uh, we're going to need another for loop here, uh, and then in this for loop we will be uh, traversing through each column right here. Okay, so we're going to another edge, and we'll start from zero, and edge um, it will be less than and graph. So graph, and that will be the graph right here. And then we will have a current here and dot length. So 
so basically call h plus plus okay and so we will need the variable called ver current and that current will be coming from uh, q dot shift so we are basically shifting from um, first in first out so the q is removing the value from the front and that's what we need and the second one is basically uh, comparing if conditions right here and we're going to compare um, uh, basically uh, try to see if there's uh, so uh, one right here we're trying to get uh, any uh, number of relationship the relationship from uh, root to another node which is node 2 right so the root it has to be one and um, so uh, in this case graph and current from the graph to current and the column which is basically h it has to be one okay and um, it has to be one and then uh, I think so uh, it has to be one and also the notes uh, the one that we're going to store in so that one has to be uh, infinity right so that means uh, infinity means basically is empty right okay uh, so we're trying to check that and we can store uh, the valid answer here so we're going to calculate it here so copy basically uh, copy this so notes copy that and it will be h and then we're going to be uh, calculate from uh, the previous uh, distance which is basically the current okay and then plus one okay so and there you go we got the value uh, but it's not the right answer yet uh, we have to move on to a new node every each time, right? So we have to push in the queue. So in this case, we're going to push um, the edge. Okay? So that way we get the right distance for each node. Okay? And so there we have it. That's the answer for um, the distance, calculating the distance between a node and uh, the root. All right, that's what basically we're doing right here. Okay, so the Q we got the uh, root right here, and then we calculate this, and we detect this uh, distance, and we add it to uh, no two because it just directly above. I mean, not above. Um, if we count it zero, one, two, then that's our no two pointing up, right? So similar to this, uh, one is one, and we. We push uh, no, two, and the relationship from there to root is basically uh, right here, two distance. And similar to that, we just repeat the pattern, repeat the pattern, and now we got uh, zero. Yeah, so the distance between from here to the root is basically three distance. And uh, we check if there is any distance between the root and the nodes, and nothing. Because uh, this already here is already uh, filled up with a number and it's not empty anymore. So that's our insert, and uh, that's how we calculate breadth search for uh, adjacency matrix and basically the distance between nodes and uh, roots.